This lesson I'm going to show you how to get a part from the, uh, we've already got a part exported from SOLIDWORKS and we're going to convert it into a bending part using offline sheet metal programming from Bystronics Corporation. So now I've taken my SOLIDWORKS file in a previous lesson and saved it off as an ASUS SAT file and I go into the bending part 3D. It tells me the top tool is not set because I haven't uh, set a default up yet. Now I'm going to open up my part. And then I'm just going to uh, go ahead and do a quick unfold. Again, my top tool is not set, but it tells me there my current thickness is 0.07. Uh, tools were selected were 0.104. And I can get an option here. So it gives me my machine type. Uh, different tools, bend allowance on there, inner radiuses, sheet thickness, and uh, what material. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, top tool bottom, and now I can see the tools. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave this gooseneck because that's the one I already have in the machine. And I can either go for a 352 or a 362. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the 362 again because that's the one I already have set up in the machine right now. Again, tells me my bend allowance is red there, which means the, uh, the Bystronics software is not quite sure what it's going to do on the uh, bend allowance, so it's going to take a, a good guess at it. Okay, now on the right over here, I've got my flat blank. Now I'm just going to go ahead and export this to buy bend part. And I'm going to hit automatic technology and let the software try to figure out a bending solution for this. And it's going to take 19 different tries at this to try to come up with a solution. Okay, it's all done. It found a solution. Now I'm just going to see if it's a solution that I want to use. Now right off the bat I see that the tools are facing forward, but I know out on the shop floor they're already facing backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and flip those around as we're going through our demo here. So I go to my bend sequence, and I'm going to go ahead, it's got three bends in this, so I'm going to click on the bend, click edit, I'm going to rotate my tool so it matches what I already have set up in the shop, again to minimize the setup times. Go to the next one, and I'm going to go edit and do the same thing. And then we'll go to the final bend, edit, and I'm going to rotate that punch again as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we're gonna, we can go ahead and preview this. So it's got bend one, bend two, bend three, and it says it's going to collide. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. So we'll hit cancel. Okay, now we see that the punch is there, a little bit wrong. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit the automatic bending sequence again now that I've rotated my tools and have it come up with a better solution again. The solution it came up with the first time was for the tool facing the other direction. When I rotated the tool around, it uh, that solution will no longer work. So now it comes up with another solution. And I'm going to go ahead and check out my fingers and let the fingers go ahead and uh, let it automatically set up the fingers as well. And we're using a six axis back gauge on this machine. And now the tooling. And I'm just going to let it finish the tooling and the plan by itself hitting automatic technology. Yeah, you can see in just a matter of minutes here, not even that, seconds, uh, we've got the part fully programmed from start to finish. Now I can go ahead and hit play and watch the video of the machine playing. Now I did flip the tool around again, but uh, I'm just going to let it do its thing. Down here, it shows you where your tools are going to be set up. 